Welcome to the channel, Irish Donna Tarot. My name is Donna Wilder Hart, and we have the Romance Angel says true love. This is the romance of a lifetime, Virgo. We have, ooh, you are checking somebody out online. You are watching someone very carefully seeking enlightenment getting to know someone really wanting to study the inner workings well you're a virgo right so of course you would do that that is gemini energy though your sister sign of mercury ruled thought and wisdom virgo you have recently moved away from a situation that was very painful you have moved forward by yourself we see you in the energy of really somebody around you loves you a great deal and you're moving towards this person. This could be a Cancerian, but you have Aquarius energy around you, which is all about enlightenment and healing. The way that you see your life moving forward is to only choose a person who tells the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. You want nothing less in your relationships as well as a very open person who tells you that they love you and who is, is very open to sharing emotional energy. How the world views you right now? Well, you are on fire, the Ace of Wands. You are considered sexy, attractive, and everybody wants a little piece of Virgo. In your heart space, look at this energy, the Eight of Wands, passionate new adventures coming up here in your love life. This could involve travel. You may meet someone who travels for a living. You may meet someone who is um, aligned with the airline industry because the Eight Wands traveling through the air can be air travel, quite literally. You want someone who's really passionate. You're attracting this wild, happy, joyful, full of life energy with that eight of wands. It is Sagittarius energy. Ace of wands is fire sign energy. So you may be attracting a fire sign at this time. We also have your energy Virgo. You are working on yourself. You're paying attention to your goals. You want someone and you're attracting someone in your life, maybe another Virgo with whom you can really build a life together. The energy that you have that's hidden, you definitely want someone who's very grounded, who's very successful. You may be attracting somebody with Capricorn in their chart. We get the energy of the mommy card, very nurturing, a lot of nurturing energy here. That is going to be very powerful for you uh, in finding true love, Virgo. You are a person who tends to be very intellectual, but you know what you need in relationship. And I think it differs from someone that you were with in the past who may have been very conflict oriented. Your energy right now that spirit is advising, leave your worries in the past. And that's exactly what you're doing. You're moving with these energies into your future towards your true love. That is really letting go of the baggage, letting go of old memories and sadness and things that have brought you down. Your outcome is, look at you, Libra energy. The Libra queen is the seventh house ruler of marriage, matrimony, successful partnership. You are definitely going to use your intellect, which we see here with Gemini energy, with Libra energy, air sign energy here, that you are definitely not going to allow anybody into your life that doesn't meet the criteria of what you want. Knowing what you want is a lot to do with whether you manifest it. If you don't know what you want, you can't manifest it. So let's see, this is a gorgeous reading here. I love the fact that true love is coming in for you. Tell us about the Page of Swords energy, please. You are you really want to know everything about someone that you are attracted to. Aquarius energy, again, that very, very strong desire to have knowledge. 
So what do we have here for the Six of Swords? Your healing process. You have healed. You are finished. You are happy. You are joyful. You are having fun. I feel as though you're having a good time with friends. You're enjoying life a great deal. You may be attracting a Pisces into your life or a Scorpio. There is someone in the past that you have felt a great deal of affection for, someone in your past that has felt a great deal of affection for you. It looks like you are headed towards a reunion with someone with whom I don't think you had a serious relationship. There was only a small offer on the table, something that you may have ha started that may have ended before it got off the ground, but I'm seeing you heading in that direction again. You are tired of being tired and you are turning your back on anything except that which you want. And the Libra Queen, the Libra Queen is being joined with this energy of deep love. You want someone who's very deep in their love, deep in their emotions, but someone who is very balanced, who's very fair, who's also very smart. And that's what you want literally for a marriage partner. You are looking, You well, Virgo likes security. Virgo, for my, my experience of Virgo is that they make very, very good romantic and uh, love partners in a relationship. You're willing to do the work. What else do we need to know about Virgo and love? Capricorn again. So again, I feel as though you have a tie to someone who's very successful in their career, somebody who's very, very much about taking care of business, doing what's needed. It's also known as a mommy card, and so is the queen. The Cancerian queen is a quintessential mother who nurtures. The Capricorn queen is a mother who provides very well as well as nurturing. We see you in the energy, the truth be told, that you are tired of being tired. The truth be told is that you thought you had high hopes for a relationship with somebody that just did not work out. And you, uh, you want to rush forward into your new life. Honey, I'm home. That is the energy of the emperor. So you are coming into this very strong desire to have a nest, to have a home, a home that you're excited to return to every single day. Strong, strong energy, very fiery love energy, very fiery desire. You do not want anything that requires rebuilding from the ground up. You are looking at this. When we get the tower reversed, we get you in a situation where the foundation is solid. You have built, rebuilt your foundation when you had the, the uh, tower upright, whatever this relationship was, it fell, it collapsed. Your foundation, you've done the structural work for your foundation. So you are in the energy of really being ready to go. Whatever needed to be repaired has been repaired. The Ace of Wands energy, what do we have here for the Ace of Wands energy? Four of Wands, marriage card, very happy, very joyful. Building a foundation, buying a home with somebody, renting an apartment with somebody. Look at that. We have the repetition. There's so much repetition here. You know what you want. Look at this is you. The two of you are on the same page. This is what is called a mirror sold relationship. It is a soulmate relationship, but is it is with someone who shares your re, your relationship values with whom you've already learned your individual lessons. A soulmate is somebody who's going to teach you a lesson. Mirrored souls are, we've met, we've, we know what the lessons are, we have arrived. Scorpio energy, very passionate. We have the Venus, the planet Venus is moving into Scorpio. It looks like you could meet this person any day. It looks like you're very grounded. This person could be from a different culture, a different ethnicity, a different country. You're really hoping that they are more like you and you're really looking for someone who is calm, cool, and collected, which is the essence of the Scorpio King energy. You have, you want someone again who is very willing to be balanced. You want someone who 
uh, is very much willing to have equal give and take in a relationship. We do get the Five of Swords. You do have some old wounds in this regard that you have not had this in relationship before. And I have cards that have flown onto the floor. So let's see what we have. Here we go, the Taurus King coming in, closing out the cycle of pain, any memories that you've had. You have met your person, Virgo. You are you already know who your person is coming into the reading. It looks as though before you started that you knew who you wanted. So that's what we have for how you feel in your heart space. The old wound is still there. It is a reminder of why you're not putting your heart on your sleeve too quickly at this time. Virgo, this is your energy, the page, the eight of pentacles. Let's see why it's here. You have collaborated with somebody very well. I feel as though the person that you are interested in, the person that you are attracting, is a person that you have worked with in the past. In the past, you've been unsure about how they feel about you. It has been a challenge for you not to know their feelings. But look at this. We do see that there's a very a strong attraction towards this person. But why do we have the knight of wands here we know that you feel passionate you don't know if this person is your forever person but you're certainly going to enjoy the moment you're going to live in the moment to see if this queen the fiery queen can work with the other queens also virgo you have three different options here in love actually every queen is on the table you have the queen of swords you have the queen of pentacles you have the Queen of Cups, and you have the Aries Queen, the Queen of Wands. You have so many options. <laughs> All right. Well, you know, every single queen is here, so it's going to be up to you to choose who you want. My feeling is, though, that you're going to go with an Earth Sign Queen or somebody with a strong Earth Sign element in their chart. Uh, also someone that you can communicate with. You are releasing the wounds of the past. You're letting anyone who has ever hurt you fall to the wayside. They will get their karma if they were a lightweight. You are in a very sweet, kind energy at this time. Let's see what the Virg, excuse me, let me see what the Queen of Swords has. We have her here twice. So you want somebody who's balanced and happy and joyful, somebody who doesn't lose their mind. <laughs> you also want someone who can control their emotions and who is predominantly happy. You want someone who knows how to maintain their happiness. You want someone who feels happy every day. You don't need money. You don't need anyone who's trying to invest in you because of what you bring to the table. You are looking for a true love, not one that is manifesting or about money. You want to build a stable foundation, of course, because you have this queen of pentacles twice. But you don't want anyone who's weighing and measuring and sizing you up. That is not the energy you truly want. Your soulmate, somebody who is a leader, and you are leaving all the sadness of the past behind and all the uncertainty. Virgo, let's look and see what your journey in love has in terms of the knowledge. Let's see if the journey let's see if this card will tell you which of the queens you're going to pick what energy are you going to choose here virgo what is your love energy that will prevail at this time heart of god oh you want someone who you feel god sent to you you are definitely looking for the signs the cosmic butterfly this is about transformation your own and that of the person that you love. You want to be with someone who's also experienced life at a deeper level. Your shifting universe says that you understand yourself more deeply and the seed of the heart. Again, to me, that's very much the seed of serenity, the seed of being really 
uh, building something that's very worthy long time. Once again, that legacy. So I would say the Capricorn Queen may be winner, winner, chicken dinner. So that is our reading for you, Virgo. You have a choice of all the queens on deck. Thank you so much for joining me. It's been a pleasure, a joy having you here, and I'm so grateful. Thanks so much.